Then he goes, cure wounds at level 100. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> and Horatio stands back up. Okay, yeah. I will allow and it. Then, no, this guy, I don't really care. <laughs> it's really annoying about the whole love tree, thing. Dude. Thank you for killing him. <laughs> uh, you managed to kill this guy with your hunter's mouth. Yes. Whoa! Hey! Oh, darn. So what's happening to Ulrich? Can I turn him into a vampire? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> it's better than being dead for all of eternity, my okay. guy! I go up to the bar to buy some drinks for the party that we're with. So you head up to the bar, uh, you order the drinks, um, and the the, bar, the bartender, who is, uh, let me remind myself, who runs the dim, the uh, gloopy slop, it is uh, Alex, <coughs> uh, a, a female presenting um, a kid, probably mid-teens, is uh, is behind the bar, and says, um, uh, uh, yeah, it's, I've said a touch of scouse. Yeah, yeah. What can I get? What, what can I get for you? It's all on the house today. Mary Clenny is um, uh, uh, is picking up the tab for it. And then I say, Did you get that? Mary <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clenny is, ta- is picking up the tab, so you can get all whatever. Oh, I've never seen a. I don't know, what is it, a child looking thing before? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just confused. Just, just a human. A yeah, I'm just a shorty um, thing. I say something about the mayor. I'll get. Um, just um, a big jug, a big jug of big bale. jug or something. Yeah, yeah. P- hazy. Like, p- I'll get a hazy pale, please. Gets a, hazy gets, a jug, <laughs> gets a jug that suspiciously is just already full beneath the bar. Just <laughs> boosh, oh, so oh. it sloshes out into the bar. Delicious. Thank you. It's got you. like a, mm. uh, an ambery kind of a liquid. I take uh, look it to it. and I take some glasses and I go and put it on the table over there. All right. Um, meanwhile, you're dancing, right? <laughs> Have a, I'm dancing. Give me, a, I'm give me a, um, a performance check. See how well you're dancing and singing. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> 17. Very oh. well indeed, plus your nice. performance. My performance, is that on the first page? <laughs> your skills page? Skills. Which I think is the second page. Plus six. Plus Woo! 23, mm, you are dancing Jesus. very well. Wow. Wow. What sort of, what sort of, of a dance? Hmm? What sort of a dance? Are you doing a jig or tap dance or I'm line doing, dancing? I'm doing a jig, I'm, do, I'm doing, uh, can I get out a violin? <laughs> you, you sure have a can. Violin? <laughs> uh, no, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna roll a percentage to see if there's somebody in the tavern who has a violin. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna make it a 40% chance, and I rolled a 14. So yes, uh, nice. somebody Amazing. in the, you're like, I don't got a violin. <laughs> like, uh, I do. You got to look after it though. It's a family heirloom. This one goes out to all of the beautiful people in the tavern. Thank you, thank you. You won't believe it, I wrote that one myself. <laughs> thank you. If anyone wants to buy me a drink, I'll be over there. They say flattery will get you nowhere, but with me it's the opposite. So come and flatter me, and I'll get you everywhere. Okay, so I pick up the violin, I'm playing, I'm jigging, and I do such a great dance move. What I do is I run up to the wall, and then with my hoofs I go boom, 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 up the wall, do a backflip, and land in the splits. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Gloopy, the wow. gloopy Slop Tavern, I should describe, is a drafty wooden shack with constant <laughs> leaks and rodent problems. Ooh. <laughs> so. So you run up the, you run your entire, <laughs> your entire <laughs> minotaur weight at the wall. I'm gonna now roll percentage to see if the wall holds your weight, oh, no. or whether you just put your foot through the wall. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I literally give it a 20% chance, and I rolled a 20. So it does just hold your weight. Like you run up it, and it goes, eh, and it, you, hear, you hear wooden cracking and creaking as you kick off of it and do a backflip, land in the splits, and it, it's incredible. It's, it's very impressive and inspiring to, to Thank watch. Thank you. Yeah. People I'm give while playing the violin, what a weird. Why did you pick violin? <laughs> oh, because he, the he very needs rock backup star, musical, the, of course. The, the very rock star uh, m- m- uh, musical <laughs> instrument. Mm. All right, so you're playing the violin, uh, doing the splits. Uh, Bublé, what are you doing? Just sitting at the, the table with him? Yeah, I'm kind of just chilling with with um, with Arrow and, and Co. But I am carefully observing this little dance move <laughs> thing because. Mm. 
One thing about me is in the water, I used to also be an entertainer and a dancer, so I'm sort of <gasps> studying. Oh. How do you dance on land? Like, how does the gravity work? How does the... You watch the flip and you're like, yeah, oh, I can like, do that. I can probably, oh, yeah. I can do that underwater, so yeah. surely I can do it here. Um, <laughs> so I try and maybe just walk on over and, and give that a go, just okay. to see if I can oh, do it. Oh, nice. nice. I could have done that in the water. Yeah, so and you like, do the same thing, like you just throw yeah. your body weight back. I just try and... <laughs> Make me an acrobatics check this with one? disadvantage. Oh, yeah, okay. Fourteen. Three. Three. What's your acrobatics? Oh, uh, wait. Oh. Sorry, I really need to get on the right pages the for all those. <laughs> Some skills, which good. I think is the second page. <laughs> skills, skills, skills. We'll get, okay. get used to where things are eventually. Yeah, plus two. So that's five? A five, yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. In the water, would have been a beautiful yeah, backflip. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. Um, Doesn't yeah, work in. You just, you just kind of throw yourself back and <laughs> just hit. Oh. Uh, oh. Ow, oh. Like back of the head hurts. <coughs> okay. You're really thumped down, people are like... Hey, you got started <laughs> early, did you? <laughs> <laughs> pissed, mate. Hey, this one's already oh. pissed. Hey. Yeah, the physics don't work here like they do underwater, do they? <laughs> Your introduction oh. to this this, uh, this this constantly damp, uh, light-skinned uh, water genasi creature is <laughs> that she fought alongside you and then just threw herself onto the ground <laughs> next to you when you're doing a performance. Okay, oh. Do with that what you will. Um, are you all right? Uh, I, I, th I think so. I think so, yeah. Oh. That was a really cool move that you inspired me, uh, and I just couldn't do it, turns out. Thank so. you. I, I, I appreciate you trying. I, I, uh, I thought I'm very impressed. And I'm sorry that you hurt your head when you <laughs> fell from heaven. Oh, 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 is, is this, oh, I don't know how to feel. Um, people scare me usually, or oh, things, any creature scares me usually. This feels warm. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. What's your I think, name? I think my name's Booble Boo. But you can just call me Bubble if that's easier. Please to meet you, Booble. My name's Horatio. <laughs> oh. And then I give Booble a kiss on the hand. <laughs> oh. Very charming. Fellatio, yeah. was it? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, just a kiss on the hand. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Horatio, thank you. For now. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> At this point, the, the, the door opens again and in comes flying uh, Sneaky. You have a look around, you see this, um, this very damp, leaky, creaky wooden shack, essentially, that people are drinking from. There's a lot of people in here. Spirits are mixed. Okay. What do you want to do? I'm going to walk in, look at the establishment, be a little disappointed because it seems like rich people don't hang out here. <laughs> no. Not in Dimwood. Not in Dimwood. Um, I'm going to see... Oh, I, I'm going to go up to Arrow, but I don't think I know Arrow's name yet. You do not yet. And I'm going to walk up and be like, so, you're a vampire, yeah? Bold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Arrow, Arrow doesn't like small bold. talk. <laughs> Very bold of you, but yes. What? Well, a oh, maybe this is more of a question for Rob, but with my backstory, mm -hmm. I'm a little interested in like undead things and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Would, I don't know in the world of D&D, &D, would a vampire or a dampier be able to give me any knowledge about necromancy and stuff that I could use to? Uh, I think I think that's something that, uh, that, that, that Sneaky wouldn't know. So that's up to you to oh. decide whether you would ask that or not. Okay. You, you wouldn't know, you'd know that they are necromantic yeah. by nature, but you don't know whether they know more about it than, than you do. Okay, well I try to like slide that in, I guess. Slide that <laughs> into the conversation. Hey. Make, it, make, make, make just a, hey, do you know uh, about make a charisma, <laughs> make a, a straight charisma check. Let's, okay. Yeah, let's make it a charisma check just to see if how well you're doing like sliding it into conversation without being awkward about it. 12. That's your charisma modifier. Wow. Uh, first page, I believe. Plus three, 15. Plus three, 15. 15, so you're doing a pretty good job. That's, a, that's well above average. Mm -hmm. uh, you're doing an okay job of kind of sliding it into the conversation. And what is it you're wanting to know? Like whether she knows more about yeah, or like the process of bringing people back from yeah, the dead? Yeah. You've just seen her do it to yeah. somebody, so that gives you a pretty good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what do you say? Um, I feel like I'm a bit suspicious at first, but it goes away. She's got a generally like quite a bright disposition and she seems like she'd be a lot of fun. But I, I say to her, I'm not, uh, this was my first time turning someone undead, oh. so... Reginald says, you, you didn't know if it was going to work? Well, <laughs> I would say, Reginald, that you're kind of looking a gift horse in the mouth a little bit, because <laughs> the alternative was you being dead forever. I, 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 I don't mean to be, and he grabs no. Ulrich's hand, I, I don't mean to be um, uh, ungrateful. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. Spirits are high, you know. Um, Ulrich's just... 
dead staring at the table, just like in disbelief. It'll get oh, easier. No. It'll get easier, Ulrich. Um, I don't know much more than that, unfortunately. I how I don't think I go into my full backstory because I don't think yeah. we f we know each other well enough. But yeah. I say that's as much as experience as I have with it. Uh -huh. uh, I generally know how it works, but the science I'm a little unclear on. Okay, right, cool. Mm. Then Sneaky is going to be like, all right, lovely to meet you, fly over, uh, and then like, I want to like make someone bleed to see what Warwick will do. <laughs> <laughs> to see if he'll go like vampire crazy. <laughs> hey, Arrow, right? Yeah. So, you're like a vampire, yeah? Yeah, yep. Cool. Cool. So, um, say if I, I, I mean, um, if someone made someone bleed, theoretically, um, that would like make a vampire go like blood crazy. What if someone bled? Would a vampire go blood crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hypothetically, yeah. Yeah, hypothetically, of course. Of course, yeah. Well, I guess. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 That's cool. what you wanted to talk about. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Your specific dialogue. I wonder what it means. <laughs> you want to just make someone bleed in the yeah, back. Yeah. So how are you going to do that? Just cut, just fly straight up and cut someone? I mean, I'll go small mm. and then I'll trip somebody. I hope that they get a blood nose or something. I'm like, maybe like. My character like sews as well, so I have a little sewing needle. Mm. And I'll just be like, cheeky. Oh, little pinprick. Sneaky. Blood. All right. Uh, who do you who do you pick? What sort of a person? Oh, not Reginald. <laughs> 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 I haven't thought about it. Um, just uh, the guy that went to med school. <laughs> oh, that guy sucks. Uh, sure, why not? That that guy you you see him enter the bar. He's, he's covered in dirt and, and mud because he's been outside with the rest, like digging graves for the the fallen. Um, and he comes in and kind of like cleaning off his hands. Uh, you fly over to him, make a let's see. You're going to try and trip him. So that's going to be how are you going to do it? Just like try and tie his shoes together, or like f put something in between his legs as he's walking, or just push him. Oh, I don't know if I'm strong enough. Does he have laces? Uh, he's got boots, yeah, the laced up boots. I'll, I'll do something with his feet. I'll All right, so you wait for him to sit down and he sort of like orders a drink from, uh, from, from Alex at the bar. Um, and while he's got his feet beneath the, the, the table, you fly down under. Uh, make me a sleight of hand check, please. All right. 12. Plus, Plus six, six. Eighteen. 18. You easily manage to tie his boots together without him, uh, without him seeing, um, and then you, and then you've just got to get him up and walking around so that he falls over. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, um, oh damn, Horatio is charming enough to yeah. like even get the boys right. Sure. So I'll just be like, I'll, I'll go back to the large and be like, hey, I don't know if you like. Horatio is my friend, and he said you were pretty cute, and he wants to dance with you. You should go over and ask him. Does it work? <laughs> it, it, yeah, I rolled for his sexuality, and he's he's into boys yes. as well. Yeah. Um, nice. he, right. uh, he, he rolls. Uh, he he looks across and goes. Mm -hmm. He said I was cute. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. And, he, <laughs> and he gets up from the table, <laughs> falls forward, hits Ooh. the table. The table does a comedic sort of flip, <laughs> spills, <laughs> spills his jug of beer all all Ooh. over everyone, arcs across the ceiling beautifully. Uh, now let's see if he falls on his face and busts his nose. Bro, I'd be embarrassed for life if that happened Jeez, to you. Jesus, these percentiles are really coming your way. <laughs> yeah. uh, he does. He busts his nose. Poof. Oh, oh no. He gets up and it starts gushing blood. Oh. Oh, he gets, looks down at his feet. I'm going to roll him an insight check, see if he's smart enough to put the two together that <laughs> this fairy that he's seen be able to shrink down has fucked with his... Yeah, he's definitely smart enough for that. Oh, no. He turns around and goes, What the fuck are you playing at, dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he goes for his weapon, realises he's checked it at the door because people don't have weapons in here. He's just blood gushing out. Damn, how do I You look across at this? Ulrich, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, oh, sorry, no. not percentile. This time it's a wisdom save. <sighs> Three. Ulrich... You see his nostrils. You see his nostrils flare because you can smell it as well, yeah. blood in the air. You see him open his mouth and his teeth, and it's the first time it's ever happened for him. So it's excruciatingly painful. Mm. You remember it kind of bursts through the uh, the gums on either side of it, and his are not uh, refined for like digging in and like find like pinpointing the um, the veins yet. It just like bursts out. It's kind of the the, the teeth are. Uh, 
uh, suddenly flooded with the extra uh, calcium and enamel and things that it needs to just suddenly grow in size and it just tears out tears his gums open busts through his bottom lip and then he just like grabs the table and he's like trying to get it up and out mm. thankfully he chose a table in the corner specifically mm. so he's a little bit away from the action but he's going for it mm. what do you do I grab him by the back of the by the, I grab him by the hair and I put him in a chokehold <laughs> nice. yes nice, nice. all right nice. make a grapple check against Ulrich Ulrich, calm down, my guy. Uh, that would be an 18. Yay. Excellent. He failed with his three, although he is in a blood rage, so he gets advantage on strength Ooh. saves. Uh, that is still less than your 18. So you... <laughs> and I someone to breathe What's through. happening to me? Don't, don't breathe through your nose, bro. Breathe through your mouth. I'm, I say in an English accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's very normal. Just breathe through your mouth. If you can't smell it, you'll be fine. Take a big old breath and count out. One in for four. <laughs> Hold for four. <laughs> yeah. And then you walk out for four. You walk yeah. through a guided meditation. I do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just there's something about me that's, that just feels like some kind of monster. Like it's, mm. at any moment it could just pull out and, and, and just, uh, like I can't control it. Yeah, no, that's normal. Some sort of beast or something that oh, I can't control. Don't talk about yourself like that. Positive words, you know? It's um, hard, it's hard, I'm trying. But. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna just... Give me the wand! Okay, just listen to me. Listen, make my voice is big in your head. Just, we're gonna take a deep breath. Deep breath in through the nose. Just calm down. Big breath in through, into the belly. Okay, this happens sometimes, but it's all right. Okay, ready? We're gonna think of some positive things. Positive things, positive things. Like, um... Running water, like a river. Not a river, not a river. Don't think of a river, because you can't cross them. That's a thing you might need to know. You need to think of putting your feet in the earth, but in, but your home soil. You're on your home soil. And it's, like, yeah, your home soil. Things that I used to enjoy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, think about like that. gardening. Yeah, yeah. Like harvesting. Like you take a nice... Garlic. And... No, 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 garlic, not garlic. Back to the game in a sec. But first, one question. Do you know who's number one? Me because that's all I roll. And you could be number one too, by buying some of these. Look at that, number one. That's how Bob rolls. I mean, it's sad, but it's true. Uh, but VLDL.shop, if you want some cool pins, Bodger's hammer, I don't think it's rightfully his. But so what was that? So nothing, what, what was nothing, that? nothing. VLDL.shop, link's in description. It's not his. At this point, the uh, the door opens, and you see walking in a um, a large uh, a large half orc woman. Uh, she is, let's see, she looks like she's in her early thirty uh, early forties or so. She's really tall and quite large build. Uh, got dark green skin, uh, green tinged skin, and a very heavily scarred face. It's quite clear that her jaw and nose have both been broken multiple times. One of her tusks is kind of shattered. Mm. Um, she's been in a lot of fights. She's got a cauliflower ear as well. Um, as she comes in, she sort of looks around the bar um, and says, uh, uh, "Drinks on me, yes." <laughs> and Alex says, <laughs> "That's that." Uh, she goes, "Hey, mate." She goes, uh, "Yeah, that's right, me. Um, thank, thank the mayor for the uh, for the drinks, everyone." Everyone cheers as the mayor. Hey! Yeah. I'm like, around. did you catch that? <laughs> 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 I'm saying this kid. I'm speaking in common. I don't understand how hard it is to understand what I'm saying. Um, she, uh, the mayor, uh, sees you guys and starts to walk over. She comes over to the bar first, uh, to the uh, table with you first. Says, mm -hmm. um, "You're, you're a very good fighter. Um, in, impressive work. I was able to see some of what you did out there." And thank you for keeping this under control, she points at Ulrich. Mm. Uh, your fighting companions? And she points over to the, uh, the Minotaur who's parading around and, and the, uh, the, 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 the almost concussed uh, water genasi. Your party? What about them? Uh, they, they, they travel with you, yes? Yes. I am glad to hear it. I have, I have things to discuss with you more job uh, to do. Um, not for tonight, tonight you'll be merry and drink, but uh, tomorrow you come by the town hall to my office and, and I, somebody in the town, a beautiful uh, woman, she was fighting with you. She saw the men on the rock. Um, 
She she has information about them for you. Mm-hmm. You come by my office tomorrow, we, we discuss more work. Mm-hmm. But drink for now, drink for now. And she gets up and she walks over to <laughs> over to you. What are you doing after the <laughs> busted nose and the I'm gonna being accused of tying his boots together? <clears throat> I'm gonna clean him up and be like you can't make rash decisions like that. Horatio doesn't like that. <laughs> I'm gonna gaslight him. <laughs> make, a, make, a, make a gaslight check. Uh, a deception check. Okay. Eleven okay, plus deception. seven. <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> Eighteen. You make him doubt himself, and he goes, "Oh, oh I thought, uh, yeah, sorry, wrong. Uh, you know, it's all right. Spirits are pretty emotional about the whole fight. Lost a friend <laughs> in the fight. I just had to bury him. It's pretty difficult. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to your friend. <laughs> he walks over to you. Um, uh, the, the mayor has wandered over to you since and says, um, "Thank you for your work." Uh, your, uh, protecting the town it does not go miss. Um, I have monetary payment for you, not much, but it's what the coffers can uh, can afford. Come by my office. I spoke to your travel companion, and she points over to Arrow, who you realise has now assumed that you're together. Yeah. Uh, I spoke with them. And said, "Come by my office. I have work for you." Okay. Okay. And mm-hmm. she uh, she turns and leaves the tavern. Uh, the rest of the evening is yours. Um, what do you want to do? There's, there's sort of downtime activities, or you can just skip to having a long rest and start the next day. I'm just going to preface. I, I didn't think that we were all together. I just assumed that we'd get a job done better, and we'd be a more a, 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 a appreciated or attractive off like um, option if we were all working four. together. Mm. I didn't want you to think that I thought we were friends already. Oh, just in not? case. <laughs> no, it's just in case that you didn't think we were. I didn't want you to think that I thought we were. You know. You were my first friend <laughs> on oh, land. I'm your friend, then I'll be your friend. I thought we I had a thing I just didn't want to make that assumption. Oh, okay. <laughs> Travelling together for months. I didn't want to yeah. make that assumption. Well, I only have you, you never on land. Know. No, no, yeah. Yeah. You know, I assume know. that everybody's my friend. <laughs> okay, that everybody <laughs> loves me. <laughs> you would be right. <laughs> All right, so is there any uh, downtime activity you want to partake in? There's gambling, there's dice games, there's mm. card games, there's darts, there's dominoes, there's singing and dancing. Mm. Singing and dancing. Singing mm. and dancing. All right. Um, anything, anybody else? I'm yeah. going to go outside and pat the horse. Okay, you go outside, you find Captain Oolong's, uh, Oolong's horse. You're not there anymore, mate. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> you find the, the yeah. horse, it's got a few scratches down the side, but superficial stuff. I'm just going to Oh, oh no, you it. ran out of spell it's, slots, it's eh? It's haunch is uh, scratched. I'm going to put that's some... A the, uh, that's a part of the horse, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Flank, but, you know... <laughs> Or whatever. Whatever <laughs> 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 you want it to be, or all. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I need a horse. I'm gonna. From I'm gonna. You know. I'm gonna t- scratch its wither, which is the point, the highest point. That's where you take. Don't it's worry, guys. I'll go it's on wither. for it. Wither. 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 Yeah, something new every day. Yeah, you do every day. If you want to talk. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you scratch it on the wither. Uh, yep. And uh, how do you want to spend your downtime for the rest of the evening? I'm going to stay sort of close by to Horatio and sort of just mimic and observe the dance moves. <laughs> like I really nice. am nice. determined to learn how to do this stuff on land. Nice. All right. yeah. uh, you make me a performance check, see how good your performance in the second half of the evening is. Good, as always. 17. 17 again, plus the 6, I think it was, for the 23. Yes. Uh, just as good as, but very consistent. Yeah. Nothing yeah, if not consistent no, with the performance. Mm-hmm. Have you, yeah. you still violining, or are you putting that down for something else? Um, I'll put the violin down, okay. and I'll pick up some bagpipes. Ooh. You got some bagpipes, oh. all right. So, I, I don't have bagpipes. Uh, there's a very little chance that anybody in the tavern <laughs> has bagpipes. This time I'm going to make it a... I'm going to make it an 8% chance. I need an 8 or lower on these dice. Uh, 70. No, uh, 70 is not less than 8. Nobody in the town oh, town has, has bagpipes. Nobody has bagpipes. Oh. Mm, okay. You make well. it your personal mini quest to find bagpipes. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, I'll just... I, I think I have a... I have a... You had bagpipes in the very first uh, time we ever played, right? I the, did. Yeah, I did the have bagpipes. Isolation, not the Isolation Games, the Descent into Avernus. Yep. If you haven't checked out that mini series, go to the main Viva the Deadly channel. There it is. It's a very good oh, nine part series. Nice. Um, yeah, I, um, I'll, I'll sing... I play my lute and I dance. All right, play some play some lute and you're dancing. You don't and have I'm, a lute, do you? No, <laughs> so no. You're, so you're just not, just not so copying I'm, that bit. You're just yeah, trying to copy the dance Yeah, I'm just trying to like moves. just get my bearings, get the, get <coughs> the physics yeah, yeah. right. Maybe a performance check. See yeah. if you can. Oh yeah. See if you can copy it. Am I getting that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy. Me. 
Well, oh, of course. Are there any other beautiful sea creatures in the vicinity? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh thank you. I'm uh, Horatio. It's like fellatio, but Horatio? Like anything you want. Oh. Oh. Tell me, what's your name? My name's Bublé Boo, but you can just call me Bubble. Oh, Bubble. I've never heard such a beautiful name before. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, Are you hot? I'm hot. It's really please, hot here. Please, It is hot in here. I think it was ever since you rocked in the room. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I hope that's not too forward. Oh, I just don't know what to reply. <laughs> Anything you like. Um, water? You want some water? Yeah. Please, please, here. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Thank wow. You. Oh my God, you are so wet. I am not. This is a lot of things to learn after living my entire life underwater. Exactly. Like this is not. This is gonna be a slow process here. Let's see, your performance modifier is. Um, it is. Oh, it's over here. Uh, five. Okay, That's so not bad. So it takes the three to an eight. So a below average. Yeah. Even okay. for a regular human, that would be below average. But yep. um, but thankfully your performance is uh, is is good enough to bring it up to. Yeah, not I'm getting terrible. better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're blind. improving. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why have you come up from the water? Oh. What are you doing here? Well, that's a question for the DM. Should I be getting into <laughs> Why do I talk like it? Your, I know, right? Your, it's your, look, I have it's purview so... over everything else. You, you okay. have your character. You can choose. Well, why did you Why did you uh, come on up? Look, it's up I to you say, how much you want to divulge. I won't say too much yet, but a few months ago, I was essentially driven out from where I was living for oh. a few reasons. Um, but it just, in the end, it turned out the only place that was going to be safe for me was to come up for air and stay on land. Mm, well, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, but their loss is our game. Oh, <laughs> you are too sweet. I, this is what blushing feels like on land. <laughs> Marisha, at this Ooh, point, a uh, gentleman approaches, um, dressed in decent armour. You saw him in the fight. Uh, you, you saw him as, uh, as, as Ulrich was dying, go over oh, yes. and try and give his expertise. Uh, he says, um, can I, can I buy you a drink? Oh, well, I'm not buying. The mayor, can the mayor buy you a drink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. You can, she can, anybody can buy me a drink. What, what, what are you, what's your poison? Not that it's poison. I'm not trying to poison you. Are you trying to poison me? No, I'm not trying to poison. Just a joke. It's like a. Uh, I rolled a three on his charisma oh. check. He's not doing well. Oh. Uh, he's a bit flustered. Oh. You, do, you, uh, do you want a poison? No, do you want a drink? I don't want a poison, but I'll no, have do you, a drink. What do, what, do you, what, what, what do you like to do? Mead. Okay. <laughs> I'll go your meat. How cute! <laughs> that went so well. Run this over to the bar. <coughs> a, mead would be more like that. There we go. Yeah. Uh, it, it was on the bar. I think it's mead. <laughs> um, what do you? It's mead. It is. It could. Yeah, yeah. What do I? Why well, you seem so nervous? <laughs> No, it's just you're very tall. I uh, am. Taller in person. He's looking up at you because you're eight feet tall. Yeah, I've been told that. Yeah, very Your big. eyes are at the height of my belly button. <laughs> well, not quite. <laughs> Your belly button's down here and he just like pokes you in the belly button and then immediately regrets it and goes, I shouldn't have done that. Was, Don't put me in my belly button. I'm sorry, that was invaded your personal space. That was completely yeah. inappropriate. I ap yeah. apologize. <laughs> I couldn't say it all. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit over here. What's your name? Uh, Gareth. Gareth. Mm, thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, have a nice night. <laughs> the one is over completely red as a beetroot. Gareth is no riz, bro. Not a single <laughs> no, no riz. Not a, not not a single riz. riz to be fair. Rizless. All right. All right. Uh, Anything else you want to do with your downtime before we skip to you sleeping and waking the next morning? Oh, I'm just going to give this horse a. Uh, I'm going to pick it. <laughs> We're going to go into graphic, <laughs> real time detail about how hey, you. How hey, you uh, role help playing this is good for this kind of stuff. Absolutely. I'm going to pick is. up every hoof and clean it out with a hoof pick just oh. to make sure that the horse doesn't get any stone bruises I where, mean, or doesn't get any. Where any, did you learn how to uh, look after horses? Uh, in the army. Yeah. Um, because I served in an army before I became undead. Oh, very good. And so, um, make me an animal handling trick, please. Hey up. 20. Nat 20. Yeah. Perfect time for it. Nat 20 plus your animal handling. Who <laughs> is plus five, 25. 25. Nice. You are doing this just better than its, its owner. But yeah. Captain Ulan comes out and says, like, hey, hey, get away from my horse. You, oh. you call this horse it's, care. What? It, He's got dry rot, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I 
No, I, I, look up, I take him to the farriers at least once a week. Dry rot's nothing to do with the hooves, mate. It's on, oh. He's got bits on his, he's got his coat rotting away. You believe me? out in the rain? I don't know. I mean, it, it was raining during the, the battle oh, all of a sudden. I, I'm that's... confiscating this horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm, no, I don't. I will be come and I lead it away. <laughs> <laughs> you lead his horse away from him. <laughs> he's going to try and accost you because he's the captain of the guard I'm, and I'm, you're stealing his horse I'm from him. I'm taking it to uh, someone who deserves I, it. He grabs you and rolls a 22 on his strength check. I need a, uh, I need a, a strength check oh, to break free. Jesus. Five. <laughs> you don't, you don't manage to grab, break his grab. Get off my horse. Oh. This is my. Oh, let's <laughs> leave it up to the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. You did such a good job today. I really appreciate everything you've done. Is that your horse? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my war horse. That's your war horse. Mm -hmm. What's that rain rot on its back? What? What are you talk? What are you talking about? I look after my horse. Could have fooled me. I think I'm going to have to confiscate that horse. What do you mean confiscate? You? Who the hell are you? I'm a horse lover, and I know an underfed, underappreciated horse when I see it. Come here. No, no, come here. I'm taking come, you away from no, this come, bad man. No, come here. Come here. Come here. You're come my here. war horse. Fresh you, oats. No, no. I've got some fresh no, oats. Come, come I've got me. a come handful of fresh oats. I look after oats. you fine. I look after you just fine. I've got you... a hoof pick and a stable full of dry hay. That way. What are you going to do? This. Nothing, because he loves me more. I'm your new mother. I'm your new mummy. Come on. This is this is theft. I'm your new theft mummy. Of theft of property. I love you. I love you. I don't know why I'm Scottish. Uh, I just don't remember what accent this guy had. Who do you want to <laughs> go with? Uh, Trust your gut. Thank you. Thank All you. Right, let's see. Uh, even with advantage, because he's ridden it so long, uh, he gets a 19 on the uh, oh. animal handling check. You don't know what you're missing out uh, on. You, no, I'm saying he got a 19, you got a 25 on your animal oh, handling check. So has looked between the two of you and then just goes over to you. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing now? What are you doing? This is I'm, my... Yeah, well, I just walk, walk, walk uh, into the sunset. That's I, what I'm saying. Oh, I, no. Yeah, he lost his horse and I bring it into the tavern. <laughs> you bring it into the tavern? <laughs> just, poof. Alex goes, hey, mate, what are you bringing? Arse. You can't bring us in here. There's not enough room for us. Oh, I'm introducing it to the rest of the party. I can't. Uh, hey, you can't get the arse out of here. <laughs> Horatio feels a bit intimidated <laughs> by the horse. <laughs> He's kind of scared of horses. <laughs> oh, get the horse out of here. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, just... get the horse out of here. Oh, oh no, let him stay, Alex. <laughs> oh my Fun. god. I'm, there's so many conflicting. <laughs> Things. I'm hey, gonna... get a horse a drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Oh, uh, I, the horse is. This is overstimulating. And the... <laughs> 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 the talking horse. Eh? Yeah, the talking horse. Yeah. His body language. This campaign's yeah. gonna go in very different direction all of a sudden. He's <laughs> stolen a horse. From the and guard. he stands outside, just at a distance, and watches the run socialists. Anyway, okay. so that's our new horse. Uh, Horatio uh, nice. uh, looks at the horse through the window. <laughs> Staring at the horse, the horse stares back at you. He's concerned. With one eye from one side. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right, is there anything else you want to do? Sneaky's just going to make a note of everything that happened before okay. about like a little bit of the necromancer knowledge I learned from Arrow, which is barely anything, but like what happened to Auric and stuff like that. Just going to. Make a note of Bill. Yeah, take notes and then I'm just going to drink and watch people have fun. <laughs> uh, you watch uh, 10 minutes later as. Um, as uh, Gareth over at the bar takes a drink and then goes and then The mayor's asked us to meet her at her off yeah, town at the town hall There's something about a very beautiful lady I'll be there! Yeah. <laughs> it's um, difficult for me to recount the events of that night Give it a go I guess I'll stab I guess I'll stab her <laughs> <laughs> I guess I stab. <laughs> if there's anything you can do to head to Darkwood and and find if he lives there still, find what his plan is. Hi guys, I hope you're enjoying watching Tale of Misfits. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing or watching some of our other videos or sending them to a friend. We really appreciate it. Love you guys.